Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones, back with a new video. This is another open care report. Uh, today is October 15th, 2021. And I, just, you know, I just do these uh, like every month just to talk about how, you know, how my experience with open care has been um, as of right now in South Carolina. Um, I live in the Columbia area and I wore the, so I had an instance where I wore the uh, police rig, the one I did a video on. Um, the whole thing just, you know, I had the belt on, the whole, the revolver out, the, the speed loader pouches, I had the whole belt, because uh, I had to go get new tires for the truck. And while I was waiting for, you know, waiting for that to get done, I decided um, to take my dog for a walk. <laughs> I decided to take my dog for a walk. Sorry, I'm parked out, I'm parked out at, a, uh, at a gas station. Um, good place I think I do videos. Um, you know, I just want to feel comfortable. Anyway, I went for a walk um, for a good, good while. Walk my dog, and it was uh, you no, know, no, no issues. I went to a gas station to get some, um, get some water, because it was pretty. It was kind of hot that day, and um, I, you know, no, nothing from anyone walking inside. I spoke to um, there's there a lady, who, um, there's a lady I noticed who, who was basically, I guess she's a, she's a vagrant, and I've seen her a lot of times as I was, you know, leaving, you know, leaving to go to work. And I decided to sit down where she was, and we had a good conversation. She was a nice person, um, Celia, I think is her name. If I remember her name correctly, it was that was Celia. And you know, she saw the revolver on my side, and she actually you know why you know why I was carrying. And I just said you know basically for, um, for personal defense, and uh, and she she understood. She told us you know said it was a good you know seemed like it was a good idea. Um, she told about you know talked about how she grew up with guns. You know she she was a really good shot. Uh, and you know, and I said that was a positive experience. You know, someone who you know people may generally they 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 tend to want to avoid. You know, people who are vagrants. You know, I said you know I'm not afraid. You know, I'm able to talk to them, and you know, thing you know we talk about a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of things about uh about, um about our faith. You know, she's also a believer in a believer in Jesus Christ, and you know we had a, we. You know, I had a good, you know, I had a good conversation from that. And don't talk. We had a few talked a few things about, you know, about you know me caring about the guns I carry, and you know being, you know, being able to do things for yourself and how important that was. She didn't go into, um, you know, she didn't go into why, you know, how she how she ended up in the position she's in, which was fine. And she just she knew what she, you know, said a lot that she wanted. She didn't want to talk about at that point. I said, you know, that's, that's all right. I wasn't gonna force her out of it, but it was just no, it was just good. You know, to have a conversation with somebody. Uh, another instance I remember going into, um, where it was like in another Walgreens late at night, and I had my 1911 on me. Uh, guy behind me, you know, he was, uh, he was waiting in line, you know, and he, I think he'd ask, you know, was I military? Which is, a, which is a question I get all the time. I said no. And Mr. Welder, um, and he just noticed, you know, he saw me carrying a pistol. And I, I think that's an impression a lot of people get that. Uh, that you're you know, you're in the military that you know maybe you're act, maybe in the military currently that you would be out you would be out in public carrying but as I said before I don't I I rarely I have not really seen anyone carrying openly and generally when people you know when there's soldiers coming from base you know they have a uniform uniform on unless they're an MP I've never seen any of them you know carrying a pistol um, now I don't, I don't I don't know. I, mean, I don't know the ranks, you know. I know I do know MPs, and nearly, if I remember correctly, MPs will have a bad, they'll have a sash around their arm. It says MP, you know, for military police. You know, they will be carrying whatever the military is carrying nowadays, or I guess whatever they're carrying at base. But I haven't seen anything like that currently. So I guess more, I guess it's more like there's more, more so people are sticking to concealed carry. But I'm not letting up. I'm still going to open carry, just to you know talk to other people. Uh, I did go to a gun shop, um, the one I don't, one I don't normally go to, and there were guys. Now there were there were there were guys. Oh, it was the two guys I noticed who were carrying. Now, I will say this: when you carry a pistol, the way you dress really matters. And I'm not talking about you know your. I'm not talking about really the style, um, but just the way your clothing is fitting you. So it was a guy who was pretty heavy set. He was carrying a 1911. Uh, he had it untucked tucked under his shirt. But he had, but the type of holster he had was one. It was, it was one of the like kind of the minimalist leather holsters, where it doesn't cover the entire slide and barrel. It just, you know, you basically just tuck it in. And, you know, he's a heavy guy. It, he was wearing, you know, I guess you could say, people could say whatever they want about jean shorts, you know. But he was wearing that. Um, 
I think it's I think it's good where if you're gonna if you're gonna carry carry in a way that because his I think his was I think I think it was I think it was maybe at his five o'clock. I think maybe if he had his more at his at his three or at his three o'clock, it would have been uh, a little more put together. It wouldn't be let it wouldn't be as <laughs> wouldn't be so sloppy. <laughs> um, so you know, a lot of people pay attention to that. If you know, if you're carrying, they're gonna pay attention, they're gonna pay attention to how you dress, and, and I think that's how I get. You know, I get you know pegged with someone being in the military or being a, being a cop because of the way I dress. I just, and when I when I'm carrying, I my shirt is my sh if I'm not open if I'm not open carrying my shirt is you know it's out but it's you know but I generally have like a a flannel shirt over the over that which I tend, which I guess I'll be wearing now since it's you know falls around the corner. But if I'm but if I'm open carrying, my shirt's tucked in. Uh, I'm wearing a belt. It's another thing wearing wearing a good belt uh, really matters. So I'm pretty neatly put together. I think also the way you carry, um, you know, even though I wear the circle holster, I wear the duty belt, is maybe it's not, I don't know, no one's ever told me it was an eyesore. There was a guy who came in the, the same day, I saw the guy who was carrying, the, the, the portly guy who was carrying 19, he was carrying 1911 in a minimalist holster. There's another guy, he had a, she had a, he had a dual sh shoulder holster. I think he had a pistol on both sides. And he had a he had a full size 1911 um, tucked in his belt on, on his back, and I had, and, I, and I was like, I, was like, and I said, why? And I was like, why? Like, but you know, I, I forgot to talk to the guy, but I wasn't going to you know, get into you know why he was carrying like that. But I said, yeah, um, uh, I think I asked him, is that Springfield Armory? And he said, yeah, it's a Springfield Armory. Um, he said he called himself an idiot for buying. He bought it the day before. He said I'm a, I'm a big idiot for buying this gun. He said he thought he, he wanted the he wanted a commander model, which is a four inch barrel. He said he got a government model. So you know, so maybe he had a whole story set up for a commander model and mistaken with what he was buying for being uh, you know mistaken it as, as if but it turned out to be a government model. He bought it, didn't fit the holster, so he just he just carried he just had it tucked in his belt. And again, I wonder why he just. If you're gonna carry two other pistols, then you know why carry that one in that fashion? You know, just tuck, just tuck in your belt. But hey, you know, and, you know, you do you, I guess. <laughs> um, I guess I try to remember that other people who aren't who aren't into carrying guns or guys who are, you know, strictly concealed carry. Um, they see me carrying. I'm, so I'm somewhat of an ambassador of open carry. So I try, you know, like I said, have myself somewhat, you know, looking neat, even if I can just get off work. Um, like I, like I just did, you know, I'm, I'm getting some, I'm, I'm, you know, I just got some diesel for the truck. I didn't go in and wash my, I didn't go in and use the bathroom to wash my hands, but you know, I'm shirt still tucked in. Uh, I'm still somewhat put together very well. Um, my posture, I have good posture. So it's like, if you're going to carry, carry in a way that actually brings out the, uh, that shows you your, that, sh that brings you out in your best light. That's the best thing I can say. But so far, um, the experience has been going, going smoothly. Uh, I haven't had any negative comments. Uh, anyone I've spoken to who, um, you know, I've talked, you know, may, you know, may have mentioned, you know, I was carrying, it's always been positive. Uh, I generally do, tick, I do, I do ask people, you know, um, have they, have they seen anyone else, have they seen you know, anybody else carrying? I, I did go to a hardware store that's, that's close to where I live, and one of the guys there said that he saw someone carrying, I think, the exact same pistol I was carrying. So it seemed to be a big 19, it seemed to be something about 19, guy open carry 1911s <laughs> that's, that's catching on, which is cool. You know, um, that just seemed to be that seemed to be the pattern I notice. You know, going forward. But hey, uh, please share your thoughts in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I'm gonna see if I can do another one in November. Like I said, I'm just doing these videos to kind of show that I kind of serve as a record um, to what I've experienced with carrying carrying a pistol openly uh, where I live, which is in South Carolina. Uh, I hope you guys are having good experiences wherever you're carrying. Um, across the United States, or even beyond that, you know, I'm pretty sure I have viewers outside outside the United States, and I have one, uh, one in Europe that uh, you know corresponds with me every now and then in the comment section. Hope you're doing well. But uh, please share your thoughts, leave a comment in the comment section, like, share, and subscribe. If you want to help help out with the channel, go to my YouTube homepage, look for the "Give Up That Cheese" button. It'll take you to PayPal, and all all amounts are appreciated. Any gripes, complaints, send me a PM. I'll see what I do, see what I can do to address them. Well, that's my video. This has been an open carry report. Uh, the day is October 15th, 2021. I'm Edward Jones. You guys take care, be safe, stay strapped, and God bless.